When a part of your body is hurting, it affects the entire body. If it's your little pinky, it affects your entire body. If it's an headache, doesn't matter what it is, it affects the entire body. So is the body of Christ. We are all a one body. We are all connected to the body of Christ. So when one is hurting, it affects the entire body. Whether or not we agree, whether or not we believe it, but it does because it's one body. The Bible says in Ephesians 4 verse 11 and 12, And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. And here he's talking about the fivefold ministry. They are given to edify the church, to make us better Christians, stronger, guide us, teach us, to show us the way of God. Now it is Jesus Christ that appoints the fivefold ministry. You have some people, some churches that are appointing men and women in offices that they're not called to be in, but God himself appoints those who he wants to become pastor, teacher, prophet, apostle, or an evangelist. In 1 Corinthians 12 verses 6 through 10, God's word version reads, There are different types of work to do, but the same God produces every gift in every person. The evidence of the Spirit's presence is given to each person for the common good of everyone. The Spirit gives one person the ability to speak with wisdom. The same Spirit gives another person the ability to speak with knowledge. To another person, the same Spirit gives courageous faith. To another person, the same Spirit gives the ability to heal. Verse 10, another can work miracles. Another can speak what God has revealed. Another can tell the difference between spirits. Another can speak in different kinds of languages. Another can interpret languages. So, it's one spirit, but it had, it ministers different gifts. And the fivefold ministry is given to edify the church, to make us better and stronger in God. And we should not just sit down and not do what we are created to do because we are saying that, oh, I am not a minister, I am not a, an evangelist, I was not ordained that. But we, in our own little way, can go out there and minister, minister to others by just living living the life that the Lord has ordained for us to live, just on the job, just being a Christian on the job, so others can see Jesus Christ through you. You might not yet be an, uh, an ordained minister. You might not be um, given the office of an evangelist, but even on the job, others can see Christ through you, and that's a way of witnessing to others so they can see that you are a part of the body of Christ. Because people around us, they are watching us and they are looking at our life to see if it is matching up, if it is measuring up to who we proclaim to be. Oh yes, you, she says she's a Christian, but she's doing that and she's doing that. We are being watched. Whether or not we know it, we are being watched. And we just have to... Let our light shine wherever we are in whatever capacity we are in. That our lights will shine before men. That they will see our works and come and glorify our Father which is in heaven. So let your life speak volumes for Jesus Christ. Not just on the job but wherever you go. You should speak for the Lord. Your attitude your speech, your 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 old demeanor shall speak Jesus Christ. So that you don't have to open your mouth for somebody to know that you're a part of, of the body of Christ. 
but just by looking at you they can tell that you belong to Jesus Christ so continue to live and to seek the face of God and let your light shine that when you enter a room the atmosphere will change when you depart from a room the fragrance that you leave behind will be satisfying it will be edifying there somebody might not understand the presence that you carry but they they say there's something about that person i don't know what it is but there's something about that person and they know it's not a bad thing there's something they can't put their finger on it but they know there's something about that person so live like your jesus christ is right there with you because he sees and he knows everything and I ask the Lord to give you a pure heart so that your life will speak volumes for him because when the heart is pure before God then you will do what you are expected to do you will strive for perfection in him and his name will be glorified in your life stay blessed